Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today's June 30th, 2020. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. Wanted to uh, see how my new sound system is uh, working. I did uh, I did some work on the configuration of my microphone. Hopefully, this will uh, solve the problems that I've been having. All the tunnel sounds that have been coming across on my videos. And uh, this is a better option uh, if I need to share multiple pages from my computer rather than from my phone so uh, I want to have this uh, opportunity or this option available I needed to get the sound better now I want to share with you right now um, a piece of information the uh, the dream that the pastor had that I shared on my channel one part of that dream is already coming to pass um, he talked about coin shortages and uh, cash shortages that are coming and uh, this is already being reported so even over the last uh, five days since he received this second vision or dream uh, this portion of that is already happening so I want to share two things with you I want to share a portion of the dream that he uh, gave to us and that he shared and then I want to share a clip from Dabu7 who is documented uh, coin shortages that are taking place right now uh, in different places throughout the United States so let's move over to uh, uh, this video here one moment please and uh, on my video I'm going to be sharing from the uh, nine minute four second mark if you wanted to find this on the original video I'll share that in the link uh, below this video uh, from the nine minute four second mark and uh, here is this clip from this uh, from this pastor uh, the second dream I had last night and it woke me up uh, in this dream uh, we just had a yard sale to help fund a, a team going to, to Ecuador this next year. And we had a yard sale. And I had asked our secretary to get us some change for that, for that, for that yard sale. So in the dream that I'm having, I walk to the bank. I walk into the bank to get some change. And on the door it says there's no change available. I saw the sign. It registered in my mind. But I walked on in. And the president of the local bank was at the teller station. And she had, she was going to be taking care of business. And I said, I need to get $10 and quarters for yard sale. And she said, I'm sorry, but the U.S. Mint is no longer making currency or making change like pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. We're not doing that anymore. And I said, well, what do you mean? She said, they've stopped doing it. And I said, well, how are we going to be able to charge $1.50 for anything? And she said, prepare for hyperinflation and just charge $2.00. And then she said to me in the dream, oh, and by the way, $1 and $5 bills will follow soon after that. And then I heard those words, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. Okay, now I'm going to share this clip from Dabu7. This is Dabu7. I want to point something out here real quick in terms of the coin supply. This was first brought up by Ryan that was telling me about it and showing me images and then I started hearing other people talk about it. Now here and there throughout the past week or so I've seen more images. Then Mike came back around and dropped it and was like look what I just seen at the store. Now over here in my notifications picture after picture here of the same thing all from different places they all have been but they've all been saying the same thing attention customers if you didn't know the US is currently experiencing a coin shortage they ask for people to use correct change or another form of tender if possible you know going cashless in the end that's where this is all heading once the coins are eliminated and taken out right in front of your very eyes which is what's happening the bills will be the next thing as they constantly keep jerking the chain 
out here on this world stage. Oh, this is okay. That's not okay. Oh, this will cause this. Well, this won't. That's safe. Now it's not. That was spreading it. Now it's not. Oh, it dies on that surface, not this. Oh, we were wrong. Oops, my bad. You know, it's a comp constant back and forth here. One thing's for sure. If you take a step back and you look at the actions that are happening, this is all going hand in hand. Every bit of it, every step of the way, and this is the latest. This is one of those riding on the wall type of things. So pay attention. This has been Dabu7. Okay, so that was... Uh... I just wanted to make some connections for you guys, uh, for those who are concerned about dreams and visions and if they have validity. I think that the, the heart of the pastor is evident. He's sharing out of deep concern and uh, deep conviction that what he has received is from the Lord. And I just wanted to connect for you guys that this first portion of the dream is already coming to pass. Okay. And uh, I will uh, share all the links for you guys in the description box. I pray you guys are blessed tonight. This is Steve Fletcher, trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.